Welcome everyone to this lecture series looking at interesting key players for entrepreneurs who are actually starting uh, their company in healthcare or planning to start their company in healthcare. Especially interesting for them who want to get into the digital health uh, sector. As an example, we will look at the German healthcare system to understand how ecosystems, accelerators and incubators can actually help founders to navigate the system and also su to support them in their finding their company. This is also already a short introduction of the goals of the talk. Uh, we will first talk about the important stakeholders uh, when starting a business, especially in healthcare and thereby understand the complexity of the German system and the important players in terms of digitalization. In the second part, we will find out what uh, can actually help entrepreneurs in Germany and additionally take a look at the offers of accelerators, incubators and ecosystems and how they can help. In general, uh, the slide already shows the German healthcare system is very complex and involves several institutions and stakeholders uh, with several roles. Generally, um, the whole system is governed with legal frameworks by the Ministry of Health, um, but all the different institutions are actually responsible how healthcare is provided and also define what uh, healthcare solutions are provided in the system. Especially for uh, entrepreneurs in the field of digital health and digital health applications, the, the BFARM, um, which is short for Federal Insti Institute of Drugs and Medical Devices, um, is an important institution because they are not only responsible uh, for the approval and registration of drugs, but they are also responsible for the so-called DIGA fast track. The DIGA Fast Track is a unique reimbursement pathway for digital health applications in Germany, which was established about one and a half years ago. Um, for digital applications, meeting certain criteria, um, for example, also the proof of a positive care effect uh, by studies, and also having a very patient centric approach and very patient centric functionalities. Um, this pathway is a great possibility to actually be reimbursed by the statutory health insurance in Germany. Um, the BFAM is the central in uh, institution which decides about the digital health application meeting the criteria or not, and if this digital health application can actually be listed in the so-called DIGA registry. It is also interesting that there are two options to get into this registry. There's one, the permanent list listing, which means you already have all the medical evidence needed in place. And so you can already be permanently listed in the registry. Interesting, especially for entrepreneurs, is also that there is a preliminary listing uh, in the registry. And that means you have the general criteria already in place, but you are missing uh, the clinical evidence needed for a permanent listing. And then you have one year in that uh, preliminary listing to actually prove all your medical evidence and finish your studies. And the BFAM will decide afterwards if, you're uh, if you can be permanently listed. It is a very interesting option because in that first year, uh, the digital health application is still reimbursed by the statutory health insurances in Germany. Another important institution, especially in terms of digitalization, is also the Gematic because it's responsible to implement, operate and develop the digital infrastructure in the German healthcare system, which is called the Telematic Infrastruktur. For founders, it can be especially interesting because it's also uh, responsible for all the technical standards which have, have to be met when one wants to become part of the digital infrastructure in Germany. The examples already make clear that this German system is very complex and especially if you're starting your business very fresh or you're coming from abroad, it's actually really hard to navigate. Um, but there is a lot of support in the German system entrepreneurs can find and also especially incubators, accelerators and ecosystems are offering additional services to support entrepreneurs.
generally speaking, you can um, differentiate between three ways of incubators or accelerators. Uh, the first part are uh, mainly set up by the industry, um, especially pharma companies offer a lot of incubators and accelerators. We will look at examples a bit later on. And then there is also a lot of support on a national or a local level. Um, also there we will look into certain examples. Um, I brought three examples from the industry um, we went to go through. Um, the first one is the Bayer G4A Accelerator. It is especially set up to support digital health solutions. Um, and it is a program which supports early stage or mature companies through funding, mentoring or partnership options within Bayer. Also, ROX has a bit of a similar approach, but it is next to a startup accelerator, also a company builder, and it belongs to the pharma company Roche. It focuses on com companies, especially in two indications. So especially in the area of oncology or neurology, it can be very interesting for entrepreneurs to look at. It. Um, a more general approach and a bigger consortium is the plug and play um, accelerator, because it involves uh, several partners from the industry, also a lot of pharma partners that, such as Lilly, Pfizer, or also Bayer. Um, it also doesn't only have a focus on health care, but runs more than 50 industry focused accelerator programs. So it is especially interesting if you are not only focusing on healthcare. A program on the or an institution on the national level, which can be quite interesting for entrepreneurs, especially, uh, uh, additionally, but is also focusing on companies from abroad, is the German Trade and Invest. Um, it helps with a lot of questions around the German system, so especially around taxation or the social security. It is important to know it is not especially, especially set up for entrepreneurs, but um, from com for companies from abroad, but still also entrepreneurs can find um, yeah, helpful information with them. Especially when looking um, on a local level, also, incubators and accelerators, especially for digital health, can be found. Um, I brought some examples from Berlin because I'm actually Berlin based, but you can find it in several other cities, for example, also in Munich. Um, there are a lot of helpful programs too. To outline a, it a bit, in Berlin, for example, you can find Vision Health Pioneers, um, which is a program especially set up for digital health. Um, it is in total a 10 month program and all the, the groups involved in that program can get workshops, coaching or also mentoring. And it's also their goal to connect founders um, with uh, important people from the industry. Another uh, very, uh, very interesting example is the Digital Health Accelerator of the Berlin Institute of Health. Um, is, it is especially set up to foster ideas from the clinic or research to get into business. So the participants are actually from the Charité or the Max Delbrück Center, um, and they can um, go through the program to get support to transfer digital health solutions from the clinic or research into business. There's also um, other, uh, especially financial supports for startups, um, for example, uh, Startup Stipendia, or also funding with the Innovation Bank, um, for example, in Berlin. Uh, but you can find several programs like that in all other um, parts of Germany as well, especially uh, bigger cities um, such as uh, Munich, Hamburg, or also Frankfurt. I also want to point out uh, Berlin Partners as an example because it's basically a local equivalent uh, to the German uh, trade and invest. Um, so it also promotes on a more regional level, um, for example, um, it helps with questions around real estate or to get um, yeah, into contact with the right people. Also, location is often a very important question when it comes to entrepreneurship and finding your company. Um, yeah, I also brought some yeah, criteria, so to say, uh, which you can consider when it comes to finding your company. 
um, especially also the close proximity to policymakers or key opinion leaders can be very important um, and can, for example, be found uh, especially for healthcare in Berlin. And also the event and community aspect is very important. So especially in yeah, a later stage of finding your business, um, at one point you also want to get in contact, for example, with more established players, uh, then also these kind of communities or events are of great importance. As already mentioned in the slide before, it is important to understand the system and to get in contact with the right people at the right time. Especially with that, ecosystems can be of great support. It's often uh, probably more of help in a bit of a later stage or as a second stage uh, when starting your business. Um, and it is especially interesting when it comes to bringing together innovative startups with more traditional players, for example, from the healthcare sector. Also, when um, yeah, expanding to other uh, countries, that can be um, a really nice approach to actually get into contact with the right people and yeah, to find connections in that, uh, in that country you are aiming for. An example here is, for example, the Berlin-based ecosystem Flying Health. It combines stakeholders from the more traditional healthcare industry, I would say, with startups, especially in the digital health sector. And especially from, for startups from abroad, um, it offers programs to understand the German market and its opportunities, but also to work on the strategy, how to enter, for example, the German market. Um, so that can be of uh, real great interest, especially for founders in a later stage. To summarize the whole bit, uh, session a bit, I brought four key takeaways with me. Um, so as we learned, the German healthcare system is very complex and hard to navigate if you don't have health or if you, especially coming from abroad. It's important to understand the important institutions early on. So we learned about the BFAM, for example, for the DIGA fast track and the Gematic for the digital health infrastructure. And the help entrepreneurs can get are often coming from accelerators, incubators, or also other institutions on a local or national level. Um, they are supporting entrepreneurs with various programs um, and can be of great help, especially also for industry players. Um, there um, are several programs which are interesting for entrepreneurs. And also ecosystems can be a good way to understand the complex system and especially to get into contact with the right people at the right time. If you have any questions afterwards, feel free to contact me via email or also via my LinkedIn.